Wake up in the morning, know it's time to get some bands today. Niggas say it can't buy happiness, but shit, it paved the way. Remember in 09, they tried to play us cause it's section 8. Tanya on the run, that's my mom, she had a state to state. Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy DJ Fess, aka the bad guy. Listen, we on tour. Mm -hmm. A lot of people come from all over the place. Day Summit. Phoenix, the Phoenix edition. But um, I've been just having the opportunity, the honor, to be talking to some of the people that's on the tour. And right now, Key in the building. Period. You know what the fuck going on? Kimo at K-E-I-M-O-E-T. Don't spell it wrong. I'll beat your ass. Like, but for real. <laughs> Listen, she has so much energy. She can carry this interview all by herself. Yeah. She carries, but I don't even need to be here. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let her talk her shit. I'm going to let her tell you how she got into music and et cetera. But where are you from first? Let's get that out the way. So I was born in New York, Brooklyn, Kings County Hospital, but I live in North Carolina. I didn't know you was born in New York. Yeah. The real no. Scott no. You know. Motherfuckers no. How long have you been making music? Three years. What got you into making music? Like what happened mm. when you started making music? So I just started doing music. It sounds cliche, but like. Like I said, after Nipsey died, I'm like, damn, life is hella short. And you know what? I'm about to start rapping. And I was like, I don't care if a million bitches doing it. A million bitches ain't key. And so, yeah, I went to the studio and I've been rapping ever since. What was the first song you rapped in the studio? My first song was Bad Bitch. I'm lit. I'm a bad bitch. Yeah. How, long, how long did it take you to write it? It was quick. Yeah. This shit easy for real. You have content that a lot of people is catchy. Mm -hmm. So, um. Like, what message are you trying to get out? Shit, Please. the message is be yourself. Mm. Like, be yourself. Be you. I make music for everybody. For the bad bitches. Get money, niggas. The ones who broke but want to get some money. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to motivate you. Yeah, I saw you motivate a couple of people that was you know poor what I'm in the audience. You stupid. They yeah. was poor. <laughs> <laughs> like I, yeah, there was, there was water boys. They kept getting water. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, now I saw them you know, trying to hog at you. Mm -hmm. And I saw you didn't give them no attention because you could tell they was broke. I'm screaming, yeah. So how can you tell somebody got it and, and first of it? all, a nigga who really got money for real is not about to be like, I got bread, I got bread. The niggas who be flashing their bread, they don't got it for real. I don't like that. So you don't like for a nigga to flash his money? No. Why what, you doing that? What does that say to you? Is that rent money? That's your that's your re up money. Mm -hmm. That's your plug money, yeah. Okay. That ain't right. yours. Have you ever like perform one of your tracks and you was talking to somebody in the crowd like you wrote this and you knew this person was going to come oh yeah what song was that it's still fuck nate that nigga told bitch ass nigga yeah every time every time every time i did my job see i pulled it yeah. out i knew i was gonna be able to get one of them out i could talk about it now because my case dismissed but anyways i was fucking with this lame ass nigga yes he was lame i was trying something different you know what i'm saying i done had briefcase niggas scamming niggas so i'm just like let me fuck with this lame ass nigga right Anyways, this nigga, long story short, he headbutt me. And let's Wait, just say he headbutt you? He headbutted me. Okay. And let's just say what I did was ten times worse. And yeah, just check out my um actually don't look it up, but yeah, y'all. I had like three felonies. It's all dismissed though. So shout out to God, cause yeah. Was that the New York in you or the North Carolina? That was just the demon in me. The oh. fuck? You gonna <laughs> Put, I looked in the mirror and I see my eye. I said, oh, yeah, now you got to die. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was crazy. He blessed, though, because God did not want him to die that night. What new music do you have coming out? Um, So right now I'm pushing a single called Wake Up. Make sure y'all go download that shit. It's hard. Tanya on the run. Shout out to my motherfucking mom. I just dropped a video. And yeah. You performed Wake Up outside of the tour. So when you're performing that, like, how does that? How does it make you feel performing, you know, your uh, your new music in front of a crowd that you just never seen before? Shit, for me, it don't make me feel no type of way because I feel like I'm hard. I feel like wherever I go, they're going to fuck with me. Mm -hmm. And so it's just about having that confidence for real. But what's Wake Up about? That's another question I want to ask you. Like, describe that song. Shit, it's about how back in the day, niggas thought it was funny because we had Section 8. Now bitches is rich and y'all poor as fuck. My mom being on the run. Like, I had a crazy life. I did hella shit. Like, if I died, I'll be content because I did hella shit. Like, but what I do want to ask you, though, what you just saying, what you just said, what is success for you as an artist? Um, I feel like success is selling out motherfucking arenas, um, awards, 
all that shit. That's success. You know, you dang Nikki. Nikki don't got no Grammys. But that don't mean that you're not the you're not the shit, but Nikki I would like to be no, they don't fuck with her at the Grammys. I don't know why. That's a fact. Like Nikki ain't got a Grammy? She don't got not one. That's sad. She deserve it. Yeah. But um, yeah. Also, yeah, y'all can nominate me for the Grammys. And um, yeah. I'll mm. tell you how to do that. No, for real. You only need two recommendations. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hip. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna get nominated this year, right? Hell Next yeah. year. I'm gonna have mm-hmm. mm. Y'all gonna see. This isn't your first tour though, right? No. This is my third one. Second one with Scott Morris. Shout out Scott Morris. Um, but yeah. What were the first I've been on two? three. Uh the first one, well, the first two were all East Coast. So every uh city in North Carolina and then Atlanta. It so I can great. ask you this question. I like to ask everybody, what's the best thing about touring? Um, I feel like the best thing about touring is exposure. You definitely mm. wanna um you know, give people the opportunity to hear you because you don't want to be lit in your city. The 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 key is to be lit in everybody else's city. Like, yeah. yeah, you can be lit in your city, but what? Don't nobody else know you? Yeah. You know, so. So what's the worst thing about touring? The worst thing about touring is the people. Ugh. I hate people. Like, I really don't like people and I don't like people in my space. Me being an artist, like, it's just different. When, I, when it's time for me to perform, then I'm chemo wet. Other than that, I don't want to talk to nobody. Uh-huh. I don't want you in my space. I don't want to smell your breath. So like, is there is there like an opportunity or a time when somebody is is like, this is the kind of reception I want, and then this is not what I want? Like, what does somebody do where I like that? But then what does somebody do? It's like you're doing too much. Um, I just feel like being too close to me, you're doing too much. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. males, females? Anybody. Anybody. I don't. The fuck? It's COVID, pig flu, I mean, swine flu, <laughs> all that shit. Get the fuck away from me. Yeah. Like, but I appreciate y'all, though. Shout out to my fans, Champagne Gang. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Top three artists that influence your music. Um. So what I would say is the top... I'm going to say three artists that I want to work with. I want to work with Dirk. Um, I want to work with Kevin Gates. Mm. And mm, I don't know. It's a couple people. But yeah, those are my top two. I want to work with y'all. I can't wait to work with y'all. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. So let the people know how they can find you on social media. Um, Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Kimoet, K-E-I-M-O-E-T. No motherfucking spaces. Get it right on my beat show ass. Like a runaway slave. This is the most violent episode that's probably going to be airing on on the space. But yeah, man, she's a dope artist. She actually has performed. Um, I had DJ at this place called Bar Smith, played the record, and got a good reaction. And then we went to a place called The Drummer uh, last night. And oh, somehow, I don't know how, I was outside. And I came back in, and she's like, did you see me performing? I said, "What? when did that happen? Um, she ended up performing. We have no footage of this. Like, this just <laughs> happened. It's just word of mouth, but it did actually happen. Oh, um, wait, it did. Yeah, it happened, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. It did happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, Fire Single, Wake Up. <clears throat> Shoot. Fire Single, Wake Up, be on the lookout for that. She got another track off the uh, Michael Myers beat. Why'd you pick that? Hmm? Why'd you pick that? Like, what made you it pick that? It was Halloween. That? Yeah, but it's like the, it can be forever, though, because it's really talking about tricks. Right, you know Yeah, what see, saying? like, people- I, I use, like, keywords- to highlight Halloween, like spooky, trick, tree. Like, if you listen and you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, what about this other record you've been doing? What, Suck on My Clip? Yeah, talk about that. What I happened? did it first. Everybody was hitting me up because Glorilla released hers, but mm, mine was better. Yeah, yours was better. Yeah, I think yours was better. I, I went think. viral that day that she posted her shit. So I'm like, shit, thank oh, you. you. Did, so you really did do it first? Yeah, I, I went first. Oh, okay. I And so when she did it, Everybody's like, oh, she copied you. But I mean, mm-hmm. that's just, yeah, it's a know. it's yeah. a sample. But I mean, yeah, mine was better. <laughs> yeah. Just keep it like right here. We're going to talk more about this in the future. Um, but yeah. Thank you. You funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to, because I don't want to get too, like, I, I, I want you to really, I, I know you got a bag you can get into. But we'll, we'll, we, this is the introduction conversation. We'll have more. Period. Because more is going to happen. DJ Pest. You know the vibes.
Kimoe out. I was bad as hell, stayed on punishment, couldn't even play. I've been jugging niggas, swear to God, since like the third grade. Bitches said they fuck with me, but hate instead of throwing shade. Niggas in my DMs all the time, they trying to be my bae.